Hey guys, welcome back to Bonus's Math Club. Today's topic is fraction to decimal conversion. So in this topic, I'll be talking about converting a fraction into a decimal number, okay? So let's get started by taking a fraction, 4 over 7, and what we need to do is make it into a decimal number. Now to do that, we'll have to, make, we'll have to divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, so the number 4, which is a numerator, will, will become the dividend, and the number 7, which is our denominator, will become the divisor. Now we know that the number 4 is less than the number 7, so we need, to, uh, we need to make it divisible by 7 by making it larger. And to do that, we need to add zeros. So we know that uh, to add the first zero, we need to first add the, a decimal point to our quotient. Okay, so then we add a zero and we make the number 4 into the number 40. So the number 40 is divisible by 7, but how many to, by how many times? Well, let's find out. So 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28. 7 times 5 is 35. And 7 times 6 is 42. Wait, 42 is greater than the number 40, so we'll have to go with our previous product, which is number 35. So we write the number 35 down, and we write our quotient down, which is number 5. So remember, put our, the first quotient after the decimal point, not before, because it's going to be um, um, less than, okay? So, okay, so, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, if you put it um, before decimal point, it's going to become a whole number, and we don't want that, okay? So you can put a zero before the small point to remind you for that. Okay, now we um, subtract. So zero can go to five, so we brought, um, borrow a one from that four to make that a 10, and 10 minus five is five. And since we borrowed a one from that four, the four will become a three, and three minus three gives us nothing, so we, there's no number. So we're left with the number five. Now the number five, you can't leave it as is because when we're never doing decimal numbers, uh, the um the uh, the quotient it'll they will it will have no remainder. Okay, so we need to keep on dividing, and to do that we have to add another zero to our our remaining number because the number five is less than the number seven. So we need to add a zero. Now it's divisible by seven. So but how many times? Well, let's find out. We know that the number forty-two can go into the number fifty, but let's find a better number. So this time we'll start off by 7 times 7. So 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. Wait, 56 is greater than the number 50. So we'll have to go with our previous product, which is number 49. Okay. Now let's put this out so we have enough room. So number 49, and uh, we put our quotient down, which is number 7. Okay, and now we subtract. So 0 can't go into the number 9, so we have to borrow 1 from the number 5 to make that number 10. And then 10 minus 9 is 1. And since we borrowed a 1 from that 5, the 5 will become a 4. And 4 minus 4 is uh, leaves us with nothing, so uh, we don't have any number. So we are left with number 10, I mean the number 1. Now the number 1 is less than number 7, so we have to make it divisible. And to do that, again, we will add a 0. Okay, so we add a zero, and now we now we made that number a ten, and ten is divisible by seven because it's greater than seven. But by how many times? Well, I know from our prior prior knowledge that seven times one is seven, and seven the number one will, will be the law, best logical choice because seven times two is fourteen, and number fourteen is greater than the number ten. So now we know that, so we subtract. 10 minus 7 is 3. Okay, so we stop there because whenever you're dividing two numbers, okay, and you get three, um, you, you keep on getting products, I mean quotients, and they're going, keep on going, we stop at the third quotient, okay? So we, I, I stopped at 0 0.571, and now what we need to do is we need to estimate the number, okay? We, we need to estimate the quotient. So now we have the number uh, 0, 0. 571, and we need to look at the last number, which is the number 1. Now, if the number 1 is less than the number 5, then we will make the number by 0 0.571 into a 0 .0 0 0.57 because number 1 will be eliminated. Now, if the number is 0 0.571 and the number 1 is greater than the number 5, then we will make the number 0 0.571 into a 0 0.57. 
58. But since we know that the number zero point and the number zero point five seven one, the number one is less than the number five, so we'll eliminate the number one and we'll keep the number as zero point fifty seven. And zero point fifty seven is the decimal number that is converted from the fraction four over seven. So this is how you convert a fraction to a decimal, and it's really simple, really easy. Now to learn more about this chapter, visit our blog at www.bronsonmacclub.com, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!